Part 3, Week 6, Lesson 1 Proving two triangles are congruent using SSS, SAS, ASA, AAS. Objective At the end of the lesson, you will be able to prove two triangles are congruent using SSS, SAS, ASA, AAS. Simulan natin sa first postulate, which is the SSS, or side-side-side postulate. Ano nga ba ulit ang SSS? If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So sa pagpuprove ng dalawang triangles, we can use the direct method. Specifically, the two-column proof. So, gagamit tayo ng statements and reasons. Sa so, example natin para dito sa postulate na to. So, meron tayong given na segment, congru uh, segment JK is congruent to segment NK. A is the midpoint of segment JN. And kailangan natin i-prove na yung triangle JAK ay congruent sa triangle NAK. So, sa pagpuprove ng triangles, meron tayong illustration. So, ito yung illustration na kung saan dito natin ibibase lahat ng statements and reasons sa ating proving. So, let's go to proving. So, gaya ng sinabi ko, ang pag-prove gamit ang two-column proof consists of statements and reasons. Dapat bawat statements ay nakalogically order. Means to say, ang statement mo ay dapat related sa bawat isa. So, hindi ka pwedeng mag-rumble ng mga possible statements and reasons without basis. Okay? So, Gagamitin natin yung illustration para makita ninyo yung order and sequence ng bawat statements. Okay? So, sa pag-prove ng triangle congruence, kailangan lagi tayo nag start sa given. So, ang first statement natin is segment JK congruent to segment NK. And the reason for this is, of course, given. So, makikita mo dito sa illustration na merong markings yung segment JK and segment NK. So, it indicates that their measures are the same or equal. The next thing is, for the second statement, we can use the second given, which is A is the midpoint of segment JN. And the reason is, given. So, as you will see the illustration, A is the midpoint of segment JN. Para sa next statement natin, doon natin ibibase sa, sa statement number 2, na kung saan, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung segment JA is congruent to segment NA. So, we can use markings para malaman natin at makita yung flow ng ating pagpuprove. So, yan. Segment JA is congruent to segment NA. It only indicates that the measures of this side, JA, is equal to the measure of the side NA. So, ang reason natin dito, based on statement number 2 then, is the definition of midpoint. And for statement number 4, Titignan mo yung illustration kung ano yung possible na magagamit mo. Since we have this one, ayan, segment AK, so we can say on the first statement, segment AK is congruent sa segment AK. And the reason for this is the reflexive property of congruence. Ngayon, dahil nakita na natin ang mga parts, ng ating triangles, 
which are congruent, we can say that triangle JAK is congruent to triangle NAK by the reason of SSS postulate. Ayan, sana naintindihan ninyo yung example natin sa ating SSS. Next. Next natin yung SAS. Ang SAS stands for side angle side. So ano nga ulit itong side angle side postulate? If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, ano nga ba yung tinutukoy na included angle? Pag sinabing included angle, it is an angle between two sides. So, sa madaling sabi, pinapagitnaan siya ng dalawang sides. So, example natin sa proving. So, meron tayong given na segment OK bisects angle MOT and segment OM is congruent to segment OT. So, we need to prove that triangle MOK is congruent to triangle TOK. So, gamit ang two-column proof. Gaya ng nabanggit natin kanina, sinisimulan natin ang proving sa given. So, as the first statement, let's write segment OK by sex angle MOT. And the reason for the first statement is given. Now, for the second statement, titignan natin yung illustration. So, since yung segment OK daw ay binisect niya yung angle MOT, mapapansin mo, there is or there are actually angles form. At ano yon? Meron tayong angle 1 and angle 2. So we can say for statement number 2 that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. At ang reason natin para dito is the definition of angle bisector. Ayan. So gaya ng nabanggit natin kanina, Ang, mga, ang bawat statement ay sequential. So, yung statement number 2 natin, naka-connecta or related siya sa statement number 1. Now, para sa statement number 3, syempre, syempre, i-re-relate natin or i-inline natin sa mga previous statements. So, nag-stop tayo sa angle 1 and angle 2 which are congruent by the definition of, definition of angle bisector. Ngayon, makikita mo dito, basis sa illustration, that segment OK is congruent to segment OK. Means to say, uh, by the reason, reflexive property of congruence. Ayan, so yung segment OK ay congruent siya sa kanyang sarili. So yan po yung explanation ng reflexive property. So dahil meron na tayo nito, for the fourth statement, pwede na natin siyang sabihin na yung segment OM is congruent sa segment OT nandoon sa given. So, ang fourth reason natin ay given. At base dito, base dito sa ating illustration, pwede tayong gumamit ng markings para makita po natin yung flow ng ating proving. Yan, yung segment OM congruent siya sa segment OT. And as you can see, we can now say that triangle MOK is congruent to triangle TOK by the SAS postulate. So, ganyan lang po yung uh, pagpo-prove ng triangles gamit ang SAS. Sunod natin na postulate is yung ASA. Ang ASA stands for Angle Side Angle. Ano nga ulit itong postulate na to? If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, meron tayong kaninang included angle. Ngayon, sa ASA, meron tayong included side. Ibig sabihin na included side, this is a side or this is the side between two angles. Ayan. 
So, example uh, example tayo. Ang given natin dito sa example na to is segment BA perpendicular to segment YZ. Yung nakikita ninyong symbol na inverted T indicates perpendicularity. So, perpendicular ang basa sa symbol na yan. Then, another given is segment BA bisects angle YBZ. Yan. Ipoprove natin na yung triangle AYB is congruent sa triangle AZB. Ayan, meron na tayong illustration. Now, let's proceed to proving. So, meron tayong statements and reasons again. First statement, we need to use the first given. So, meron tayong segment BA perpendicular to segment YZ and the reason is given. Ngayon, titignan natin ulit yung illustration na sinasabi niya. Segment BA daw perpendicular, kaya, uh, perpendicular sa segment YZ. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, merong nabuong angles. So, ano ba yung mga angles na na-form? Meron tayong angle 1 and angle 2. So, we can use it as the second statement. So, for the second statement, we can write angle 1 congruent sa angle 2. At ang reason natin dito, since based on the first statement na nabanggit, sabi niya perpendicular. So, we can say that if two lines are perpendicular, they form congruent adjacent angles. So, yan po yung magiging reason natin. And for the third statement, we can use the second given, which is segment BA by sex angle YBZ. So, ang reason natin dito ay given. Ngayon, base sa third statement, para makuha natin pang-apat, since yung BA daw, yung segment BA, binaisek niya yung angle YBZ, may makikita ka ulit na angles na na-form. At yun yung angle 3 at angle 4. At kung mapapansinin, mapapansin natin na these two angles are congruent. So, we can say that angle 3 is congruent sa angle 4. And the reason for this is definition of angle bisector. Now, for the fifth statement, ayan, kung may makikita na kayong kasunod na statement dyan, basis sa illustration natin, we can say this segment is congruent to itself. So, we can write segment AB congruent to segment AB and the reason is reflexive property of congruence. Yan. So, meron na tayong um, angle, side, and angle. So, for the sixth statement, we can now prove that triangle AYB is congruent to triangle AZB. So, ang ating reason dito, obviously, the ASA postulate. So, ganyan lang po kadali ang pag-prove gamit ang mga postulates na to. So, let's proceed to the last. Okay, so ito, hindi siya postulate, but then it is a theorem. AAS. So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, angle, angle, site. Pero sa ibang mga books or textbooks, references sa uh, internet or other references, um, SAA yung ibang nakasulat. So, we can uh, use SAA. So, for the meantime, para sa uniformity, Dahil mostly sa mga references, ang nakasulat ay AAS, uh, we will follow the majority. So, angle, angle, side. Ano nga ulit yung angle, angle, side? If two angles and non-included side of one triangle, triangle are congruent to two angles and a non-included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, ito yung example natin. Ayan, ang given natin para dito ay Angle NER congruent to angle NVR. And segment RN bisects angle ERV. We need to prove that triangle ENR is congruent to triangle VNR. Ayan. So, proceed tayo sa proving. So, ang first statement natin para dito sa ating last example, 
angle NER congruent to angle NVR. Ang reason natin dito ay given. So, basis sa illustration, meron na, meron na siyang markings. So, for the second statement, we can say that segment RN bisects angle ERV. At ang reason natin dito ay given. So, ayan. So, basis sa second statement, para sa third statement, if we ibibase natin yung third statement natin dito sa segment RN bisects angle ERV. So, magkakaroon ka ng angles. Dito, we can say for the third statement that angle ERN congruent to angle VRN. So, ang reason natin dito, kung makikita ninyo, is yung definition of angle bisector. Ngayon, para sa fourth statement, since dito sa ating illustration, ang kulang na lang natin, we can have this one. So, for the fourth statement, ang segment RN ay congruent sa sarili niya. So, by reason of reflexive property of congruence. At dahil dyan, we can now prove at we can now say that triangle ENR is congruent to triangle VNR. So, by the reason of AAS theorem. Ayan. So, Yan po yung mga examples ng pagpuprove ng triangles gamit ang SSS, SAS, ASA, and AAS. Okay, thank you for watching and listening. For questions or comments, suggestions, you can type on the comment box and let's share ideas about the topic. Thank you again and God bless.